More now on the newly released Comey memos. In two of the memos, President Trump pushes back on claims that he could have been compromised by Russian prostitutes, as alleged in the infamous Steele dossier, when he visited Moscow for the Miss Universe pageant in November of 2013. According to Comey's notes, the topic came up during a private White House dinner just a week after President Trump was sworn into office. Comey writes that the president insisted the claim by Steele was a total fabrication. Comey also says the president told him that he had, quote, spoken to people who had been on the Miss Universe trip with him and they had reminded him that he didn't stay overnight in Russia for that. He said he arrived in the morning, did events, then showered and dressed for the pageant at the hotel, didn't say uh, the name of the hotel, and left for the pageant. Afterwards, he returned only to get his things because they departed for New York by plane that same night. Now, according to Comey, the president repeated that claim a little uh, more than a week later. Comey writes, he then explained, as he did at our dinner, that he hadn't stayed overnight in Russia during the Miss Universe trip. Keep it honest, there is evidence the president spent at least one night in Moscow. We found social media postings, other photos, and a video from different events in Moscow that prove it, actually. There's also testimony on Capitol Hill from Mr. Trump's former bodyguard that contradicts the president's claim. I just want to show you the timeline. Trump arrived in Moscow on November 8, 2013, according to a book written by journalists Michael Isakoff and David Korn about Trump's dealings in Russia. Here's a Facebook posting from that day that, uh, that's uh, Mr. Trump at the Nobu Moscow Sushi Restaurant posing with Russian Azerbaijani pop star Emin, the, uh, the son of the pageant's host. It seems he did stay the night because the very next day, Saturday, November 9th, Mr. Trump went on Twitter and wrote, I'm in Moscow for Miss Universe tonight, picking a winner is very hard. They are all winners. Total sellout of arena, big night in Russia. Less than an hour later, he added, I was just given a great tour of Moscow. Fantastic, hardworking people. City is really energized. The world will be watching tonight. It seems it was a busy Saturday for Mr. Trump. According to Bloomberg, that very same day, he was back with the pop music star Emin, starring in a cameo role for one of his music videos. Take a look. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Emin? Emin, let's get with it. You're always late. You're just another pretty face. I'm really tired of you. You're fired. Well, later that day came the big event. The reason he was in Moscow, the Miss Universe pageant was held. Here's the video uh, he took part in uh, uh, took, uh, uh, at the after party. That's him with the newly crowned Miss Universe. Not clear whether Mr. Trump spent a second night in Moscow or flew home directly after the parties. But the next night, November 10th, Mr. Trump tweeted, I just got back from Russia, learned lots and lots. Moscow is a very interesting and amazing place. As for Mr. Trump's former and longtime bodyguard, how he plays into all this, last November, Keith Schiller testified before the House Intelligence Committee. According to Republican and Democratic sources with direct knowledge of the testimony, Schiller told lawmakers about guarding Trump's hotel room in Moscow for a few minutes before he turned in for the night. But he did so uh, to deny that Trump met with any prostitutes, saying that a Russian offer to send women up to the room was rejected earlier in the day and that he and Mr. Trump laughed about it while walking back to his hotel room. The claims made by the president to Comey about not spending the night may, may have no significance, could have been a mistake or even a meaningless lie, not, to, meant, not meant to hide anything. But the claim, it's clear, itself is false.